And welcome back to News On. I'm Miranda Khan. We'd like to welcome in our panel now. Joining us, former Obama campaign director Robin Biro and CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Nice to see both of you on this Thursday. Good to be back. Good morning. So, uh, as we mentioned at the top of the show, the CDC um, reconsidering now, reportedly. Uh, reissuing this mask mandate. We've already seen this happen in LA. Uh, there's reports out there, this specifically uh, referencing the Washington Post, saying that the White House administration is meeting with CDC officials uh, to talk about doing that, especially when it comes to crowds, regardless of whether or not you've been vaccinated. Uh, Robin, I, I wanna start with you on this. Uh, we've seen the comparisons between California and Florida, and Florida having people that are especially more susceptible to this virus and they lifted restrictions far earlier than California did and yet the numbers didn't seem to add up. Do you see us going back to mask mandates? You know, I really, nobody wants that. I, th I think we can all agree, nobody wants that. And we certainly don't want another lockdown. The numbers though, Miranda, don't lie. Right here in Georgia, we've, we're up 193% in, in new cases of coronavirus over the last two weeks. Uh, and th that's among largely unvaccinated people. So it, it's, the numbers aren't looking good, but I will say this, mask <laughs> mandates, the CDC can say all they want, they're not enforceable. They tried to enforce them here with a $15 penalty. They handed out zero tickets because they're not enforceable. So it's a, it's a lovely suggestion of, of personal health and responsibility from the CDC. But if there's no teeth behind it, what does it matter? Well, you talked about the numbers. So as we also mentioned, the CDC now admitting that, oops, it made a mistake and that human error, uh, they just happened to double the number of people that have recently died from COVID-19. Um, does this in any way undermine their credibility, Robin? Of course it does, how can it not? Uh, but when, if, if the cases are up, if they said 193%, if it's up 100%, that's still pretty bad. I'll tell you that right here in Georgia, in Atlanta, we had a five-year-old, five die of, of coronavirus yesterday and without any other complications. So I'm concerned because look, I've got school age kids. They go back to school August 2nd. That's like a week and a half away. Uh, and it's all in-person school. Um, so it's gonna be a problem. And, and you know, my kids feel more secure when they wear a mask, but I mean, I'm nervous and concerned as a parent, Miranda. Melissa, I want you to weigh in on this. Again, you know, you've got the city saying, oops, we made a mistake. You have these Democrat, you know, uh, Democrats that, that flew from uh, Texas to D.C. and then they ended up getting COVID. Some of them already been vaccinated. Now we're hearing people that got the vaccine, got COVID. I mean, what's the answer there? Mask, no mask. Uh, you get the vaccine, you may still get it anyway. I mean, how should the U.S. respond? Yeah, I think that the problem is within the last 18 months, the CDC, people have stopped trusting the CDC because what happened with the virus. Because remember at the beginning, they knew more about what was happening with the virus in China than they told the American people. And they've changed their guidelines so many different times. It's not just the data that came out in the last week. They've changed their tune uh, off and on, and so has Dr. Fauci. So I think the biggest misstep is that people have stopped trusting them 100% and including that a lot of people have lost trust in the med medical profession because they've changed their tune on this too. I'd rather have people come out and say, we don't know, rather than say, oh, you have to do this. Oh, then we've changed your mind and flipped it on this. Personally, I am not interested in wearing a mask again. I'm concerned that they're going to make this a mandate in New York City. Uh, because again, they made it a law now in LA. Listen, we're adults. If people want to wear a mask and you're concerned about getting the virus, then wear a mask. Robin mentioned his children, then they can wear masks. The fact is that if people want to get vaccinated, they can get vaccinated. If they want to wear a mask, they can wear a mask. This type of treating adults like children, I think that as Americans, we really have to stand up to it now. I've, I've had enough of it personally. And I think a lot of people have too, but they may not say it. They may be scared to actually voice their opinion on that. They're tired of the government telling them what to do. Well, uh, someone who's not scared, uh, y you mentioned people not having faith in the CDC. Well, Representative Madison Cawthorn is now the latest Republican. I mean, forget having mistrust. He's flat out calling Dr. Anthony Fauci a liar 
Of course, this comes after that very heated exchange with Senator Rand Paul. Here's a little uh, snippet from their war of words in case our audience missed it. Let's take a listen. It didn't I come from the lab, but all you. the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab, you. and there will be responsibility for those yeah. who funded the right. lab, including yourself. I totally This committee resent, will allow the witness to respond. I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating, Senator. All right, so uh, this is not the first time these two have gone at it, uh, but what it, when it comes to Dr. Anthony Fauci, Melissa, uh, is his credibility... Is, is he losing credibility with most America? I think his credibility is shot with me personally, and I think a lot of people. And now the, there's a lot of Democrats, and again, the administration that still put him up on a pedestal that he's God and everything he says has to be true. But when his emails came out, which I forget when that was, a month ago, a couple of weeks ago, and you saw that he knew what was going on way earlier than they came out, back in January and February, people blamed President Trump for not shutting down uh, the international flights coming in, they knew what was going on way before they announced it in March to the American people. And I have a big problem with that. And again, he's lost credibility to me. I'm not going to listen to him if he tells me to wear a mask or not to wear a mask or whatever. I make my own choices. He's he's just shot as far as bill credibility is concerned after those emails were, came out because he knew in January about some of these things in the exchange with the, with the Wuhan lab. They know they were funding the research. You can read the emails. Robin, what do you have to say? I'm more interested. First, I hate that this whole thing is being politicized. I just want Americans to be safe and, and keep their families safe and loved ones safe. But look, the, I'm more interested in what they were actually arguing about. Uh, if you'll recall, the Biden administration did say that they were going to be doing a 90 day investigation because there is evidence that this may have originated in the lab in Wuhan, China. Um, and we're probably getting, we're probably about a month away yeah, from finding Yeah, Robin, we do, I do that. remember that. To interject real quickly, yeah. yeah, of course I remember that. We also remember that several yeah. people uh, removed from social media for suggesting such a thing until now that they're saying, well, maybe there is some truth to that. I do remember that. It does sound yeah, like you know that's not going to go anywhere. You know that's not going to go anywhere. I'll bet you a hundred dollars that doesn't go anywhere between now and January first. A thousand dollars, Robin. It's not going to go anywhere. The administration is not going to investigate China, and even if they did, it's about two years too late. Come on. I mean, well, this was in the last of that. March. Yeah, they're in the midst of that investigation right now. I think it's about a month away. I you know, I'll take you off on that bet, Melissa. We'll bet. I think we're going to find out something. We're going to find out oh, something. Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. I like this. Yeah. I like this. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Let, let's, let's get to the numbers here. Uh, going back, Melissa, you, you're betting him $1,000 that we'll never know? Well, I'll give him a choice. He can pick 100 or 1,000, whatever he wants. But I don't think we're ever going to know, but I want to give a date. Whoa, Are you losing faith? Are you losing faith in your bet? No, no, no. I'm just saying I don't want to put him under pressure. I'm saying by January 1st, 2022, I bet that we don't know anything about an investigation they've been talking about doing. What Robin can choose okay. the money, a hundred or a thousand. A thousand All right, Robin. My mayoral, a thousand dollars toward my mayoral campaign. <laughs> ooh, ooh. This is good. This is good. I like this. Okay, so uh, note to everyone that's watching this, we are definitely going to save this clip. And come January, we're going to play it again and have you both on. Yeah, let's do and it. see who's richer for that. Um, and I, I'm going to have you guys uh, respond to this coming up after the break because we're running uh, against a commercial break. But speaking of this controversy, as you know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was also removed uh, from social media for some of the remarks that she made in regards to COVID. We're going to get our panel to respond to that coming up after the break. Also, we're going to talk about inflation, right? All of you have noticed you're spending more at the pump, at the grocery store, on all sorts of things. Now, the president says, don't worry about it. This is only temporary. But is it really? And what impact could his $4 trillion spending package have on your wallet specifically? Robin Biro and Melissa Armour are going to join us to weigh in on that coming up after the break. And you can always weigh in on these issues because your voice is the most important voice on this network by finding me at Real Miranda Khan. Hashtag share your voice. We'll be right back. You're watching News On.